Gregory. So, um, Canelo Alvarez, he announces that he will be fighting May 4th. Yeah. Everybody's figuring that it's being Jamal Charlo. Yeah. But Jamal Charlo came up and said that he uh, Canelo fight hasn't been confirmed, that he hasn't talked to Al. Yeah. That he said yes to the fight, but nothing's been confirmed. Yeah. Is there a possibility that it could be Terrence Crawford that could be May 4th? I mean, it was already mentioned that he that those was going to be the fight, so it it could be. I mean, it wouldn't be a surprise because he already said, or already it's already been put out there that that's who he was going to fight, Jamal Charlo, and then Bud. But maybe it's Bud first. I mean, Benavidez has also been mentioned. I don't, I can't see like. Oh, okay. Let's let's just talk about the Crawford fight. Yeah. For a second. So, do you think it it would favor Crawford? to face Canelo in May or September? It really don't matter because Crawford will do whatever it takes to get ready for that fight. Um, the reason I don't think it's a bad fight, I mean, I've, I've been, I ain't gonna, right, let's, let's be honest, I've been up and down about it. I talked to you, I said it's a good fight. I talked to somebody else at one point, I was like, maybe not right now, because I feel like he owed Benavidez that fight, Canelo. But if we just talking as if the fight got made already and they going to fight. But it's not the guy that's out here drunk, high, mistreating his body. That's one. Two, he's a martial artist. He's going to do whatever he got to do to get ready for the fight. Three, I keep telling people, the reason it's not so bad of a fight is because Canelo is not a natural 68. Canelo started at a lighter weight class. Yeah, Bud was yeah, Bud was at a lighter, lighter weight class than Canelo, but they both coming up. They both, they both five what eight five seven. Yeah. They both coming up to 168. Canelo's been there longer, and he's done what he's done. Great fighter. Yeah, but Bud coming up is not a bad thing because again, not fighting a natural 68 pounder. A natural 68 pounder is like a. Is like a Jesse Hart, is like a Benavidez, is like a Caleb Plant. Those guys is natural 68s. You know what I mean? Um, and the pace of the fight right now wouldn't be what it was if it was 10 years ago. What I mean by that is, if a guy 35 years old fighting a guy 25 years old, the advantage the 25 year old, the 25 year old has in the fight is the pace, the pace of the fight. When you're younger, you just got more energy and you just feel like doing more. When you get older, you're a little more settled in. And yeah, we fighting, but you realize I ain't got to react to every little thing you're doing. I'm going to touch you when I want to touch you. Now, if you put two 35-year-olds in the ring, you're going to get an even pace. They both feel the kind of the same way. They both been boxing their whole life, damn near. You know what I'm saying? And they not. I'm not saying they tired and they, and they ready to get the fuck out, but it's like... I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm more so I, I gotta outsmart you. It ain't just going in here and just throwing punches like an amateur type pace. And that's what you get with the younger men. They fight at an amateur pace sometimes, even though it's a pro fight. So I don't think it is a super bad idea for Bud to go ahead and take that fight, especially because he's going to get compensated for the fight. It's going to be a great payday. But I think he also will give Canelo a better fight than we think. Because again, he, he he's the type of guy, he's going to study his opponent, he's going to prepare the way he needs to prepare, you know what I'm saying, and he's going to he gonna come, he gonna go in there and give us his all, even if it do mean going out on the ship, you know what I'm saying, we only talking like that because Canelo's a bigger guy as far as weight, and he's been fighting a bigger weight, and we've seen him knock certain people out, and this and that, yeah, but that's, that's those guys, you know what I mean, one thing my coach said, yo, a motherfucker could beat a hundred people. If you're not on that list, then that don't mean nothing. Like he gotta, he gotta beat you. He still gotta beat you. Bud is respected in boxing. At the end of the day, and he done what he's supposed to do, and he want to do more. He want to fight Canelo. I say make it happen. You know what I'm saying? Canelo, Canelo not washed up, of course, but he older. So this is like the perfect time because he slowed down. You know what I'm saying? If you really watch that last fight with with Charlo, if Charlo actually fought him back. It wouldn't have been so easy because Canelo ain't really, he was just more so intimidating. He wasn't really like going crazy. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like 
But and with Bud's shoulders in that last fight with Spence, his eyes and reflexes and all that shit is still intact, man. And that's a dangerous thing. You know what I'm saying? So if, if, if Canelo going in there thinking that shit gonna be easy, you know what I'm saying he got he got the he got something coming. He got something coming. I think that's a great fight. Canelo's never been down. Mm-hmm. You've so seen we Canelo. know. True. <laughs> You've seen Canelo buzz. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Crawford's never been down officially. Some people yeah. feel like the meme machine knockout. What should Bud's game plan be to go in there with Canelo? And what should Canelo's game plan be in there with Crawford? Um, I feel like for Bud, it's to outsmart him. For, for, for Canelo, it's to overwhelm him. If he can. You know what I mean? And that's, that's just simple as that. Overwhelm me mean not letting him get time to set up, smothering him. And, and, and beating on him if you can, you know what I mean. Outsmarting him mean beating him behind your jab, picking your shots, making him miss. You know what I'm saying? Making him, making him believe you're gonna sit in there with him, stepping back out, touching with a combination, pivot out, roll out, just little shit like that. Just outsmarting him, fainting at him, just keeping him offset. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be a great fight though if they fight. Trust me, because Bud gonna do whatever he gotta do to get ready.